Welcome everyone to day two of Be a Builder. If you're joining us new, we are going step by step to build an app from start to finish. So make sure to join us every morning at 10 a.m. where we will be posting a new video to the website and then share your progress along the way to win some fun prizes. So yesterday we talked about best practices for identifying the problem. And for day two, we're gonna learn about gathering requirements so that we can make sure our app has all the right features, fields, and reporting that it needs. I'm super excited to talk to Senior Admin Evangelist Jillian Bruce about how to take an idea and translate that into actual requirements that we can use to build an app. When I was building my first app, this was actually the most time consuming part of the process. So I'm super excited to learn more. Let's go talk to her. So it's day two of Be A Builder and I'm back with Jillian Bruce. Hello, hello. And we're gonna talk about gathering requirements. Very important step when you're building an app. Exactly, so we've identified I have a problem and I wanna build an app. What's next? <laughs> it's gathering requirements. So congratulations on figuring out your problem because a lot of us are still trying to do that. So you've got your problem and now we wanted to figure out how to gather requirements and there's a couple elements to gathering requirements that I'm going to break down to help you do this a lot easier. Great. Thank you. So the first thing is identifying your stakeholders okay. and a stakeholder is anyone who has something at stake in this oh. app that you are building. So someone like your end user, like Barry in sales that you just talked to. Yeah. Okay. And maybe Mary's manager. Ooh, a sales manager, right, would have something at stake. They care about that process, how mm -hmm. well their employees are working and how streamlined that process is, how easy it is for them to get it done. And then maybe like your head of IT who is going to care about that system from a technical standpoint. And maybe some of your senior executives who are looking to really get that data from that app and do yeah. something with it, right? So many potential stakeholders. So many potential stakeholders. All right, I've got a few in mind. So now that I know my stakeholders, what's next? So the next step is when you get to do the fun part, channeling your inner three-year-old. My inner three-year-old at work? I know. Crazy, right? It doesn't mean you get nap time and free snacks. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I know, me too. But it does mean you get to ask why a lot. Oh, got it. So you want to talk to all those stakeholders and really ask them very deep questions about what they're looking to get out of Salesforce or out of these processes. And you do that by asking why several times. So for example, hmm. if I ask you for a specific field on a record, but why? Well, because I want to track the number of plushies in each order. That sounds great, but why do you want to track that? Because it's really important for a decision point in our process of which vendor we send that to. I'm gaining more information, but why? <laughs> exactly, and so that multiple level of questioning why really gets to the core piece of information you need, that core requirement. So it's not just that they need that checkbox or they need that field on the record, but what they need is they need information to help them get that process to the next step, right? Yeah. Right, and eventually that data to go somewhere else. Cool. Okay, so got my stakeholders. I'm going to keep asking them why until they're blue in the face. Yes. <laughs> what do I do next? So the, the next step in gathering requirements is about looking at the data. So really paying attention to what data matters at your organization, mm -hmm. both for maybe your end users, what are the data pieces that they act on on a day-to-day -day basis, and reporting up to executives. What are the pieces of data, what are things that they like to track and share out about the company? To their investors or to partners you know hmm. what is in those spreadsheets what matters in those spreadsheets oh, many pieces of data I'm sure <laughs> yeah and as you're looking at that think of you know what is that amazing beautiful lightning dashboard that you could create mm. that would make your executives super excited and wowed to get their buy-in as well. yeah get their buy-in get them excited about your project and make their lives easier right and make you look like pretty amazing yourself. I like the sound of that. All right, so I think I've learned a lot of things. I'm gonna find some stakeholders, talk to them, keep asking why, and then make sure I know all the data that I need to capture. Absolutely. Thanks so much, Jillian. My pleasure. Good luck.
That was super helpful. With Jillian's insight, I can now really see why gathering requirements is such an important step in the process of building an app. So just to summarize, I learned that when you're gathering requirements, first start with identifying who you will gather requirements from. Who are your stakeholders? Who will be, be using this app? Who will be looking at the data from this app? Start there. Then once you've identified them and are talking to them, keep asking why to get to the heart of their need for this app. Channel your inner three-year-old, as Jillian likes to say. And then lastly, definitely be taking note of the type of data you need to capture to make this app successful and enable some really great reporting that can wow your executives. So with this in mind, it's your turn. Who are your stakeholders and what are their requirements? You can use this requirements template that we've created um, as a guide to start this gathering process today. And then be sure to join us tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific time for day three, where we will learn how to build an awesome data model that really reflects those requirements that we've gathered. See you then.